Hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here for this interesting case. In this video, I'll share with you a fascinating account of a patient who had a very peculiar case of abdominal pain with a really surprising twist. This story is taken from a real patient report in the journal Annals of Internal Medicine with some minor fictionalization that I've added for clarity of the video. The patient was a 30-year-old male who had no significant medical problems. That is, he was quite healthy, actually. He complained of abdominal pain. To evaluate the pain, a computed tomography, CT, scan of the abdomen was performed. Surprisingly, the scan showed infarcts of the spleen, which means that they saw areas of dead tissues in the spleen organ. The spleen is an organ located in the upper left abdomen. The CT scan also showed what appeared to be a mass or lump in the heart's left ventricle. The left ventricle is the chamber of the heart that pumps blood to the body. To further evaluate the mass in the left ventricle, a sonogram, also known as an ultrasound, of the heart was done. You may be quite familiar with the concept of medical ultrasounds. These are the same studies that are done for pregnant patients to look at the baby before the baby's born. It showed, surprisingly, an approximately one inch mass or lump in the left ventricle that appeared to be on a stalk almost attached to the inner heart wall. The spleen findings from the CAT scan and the heart findings from both the CAT scan and the ultrasound strongly hinted at this point that the patient was forming abnormal blood clots, but there was really no reason for this to be happening. Laboratory tests to check for conditions that typically cause abnormal blood clotting were all negative. It's well known that COVID-19 causes some people to form dangerous blood clots, but this patient had no specific or typical symptoms of COVID infection. But just to be sure, the doctors tested the patient for COVID, and guess what? Sure enough, believe it or not, the testing showed that the man was actively infected with COVID. Unfortunately, he required an emergency heart surgery procedure to remove the large blood clot from the left ventricle of his heart. When a blood clot is present in the heart, it can break into pieces and travel to other parts of the body. This can be very dangerous. It can cause strokes, heart attacks, or other very serious medical problems. During surgery, a large one-inch blood clot was found in the left ventricle and it was removed. Examination of this blood clot under the microscope by the pathologist confirmed that the mass was indeed a large blood clot that had quite a bit of inflammation in it, which is consistent with a blood clot that was formed in response to COVID infection. This man was treated with oral blood thinners for six months, and he had no recurrence of clots. So what's the moral of the story? The moral is COVID can be very dangerous. One of the things COVID is known for is causing people's blood to be very prone to abnormal clotting. While clotting is normal, of course, when there's a cut or scrape on the skin, internal blood clotting within the blood vessels and organs, including the heart, as happened here, can be very dangerous. It can lead to severe damage or even death of just about any organ, including strokes, heart attacks, life-threatening blood clots in the lungs, in the blood vessels, severe kidney damage, or even gangrene of the feet or legs. Nowadays, whenever someone has abnormal blood clotting without an otherwise obvious reason, doctors should consider testing for COVID, even if the patient doesn't have usual COVID symptoms, which is what happened in this case. I'd like to give proper credit for this case. This case was reported online in the medical journal called the Annals of Internal Medicine under the Clinical Cases section on September 19, 2023. The full citation of the case is shown on your video screen in order to properly credit the original authors of the case. I really hope you enjoyed this fascinating case. Until the next video, remember, stay healthy.